Japa. All those people saying they want to Japa. If you go over there, what work are you going to do? Says the First Lady of Nigeria, Senator Oluremi Tinumbu. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. The First Lady, Her Excellency, Senator Oluremi Tinumbu, has questioned the motivations of those who claim they are relocating abroad, wondering what kind of work they plan to pursue in their destination country. As similar opportunities may exist in their home country where they have family support in excess. She criticized the trend of highly educated individuals resorting to menial jobs such as taxi driving abroad but refusing to do so in their own country. She emphasized the importance of considering local opportunities and the support network available at home. She said in an interview with Arise TV, You don't even know those who are poor. If you don't ride a car, they will say they are poor. If you find, if you find or have your own home, they will say they are poor. All these people saying they are going to Japa. Hmm. If you go there, what work are you going there to do exactly? It's the same work that you're supposed to do at home where you have loved ones and you end up going to do that. Even with all their education, they are driving cabs, but they won't do, they won't drive cabs here. Okay, so let's see exactly what um, the people said. The comments. If, if at all they involved in ad hoc job over there, can you compare value of their money to Nigeria's own? At least some of leaders says during their studies in abroad, they use money realized in cap to pay their school fees. Somebody said, imagine the stupid question she's asking. Another said, I'm disappointed at Mrs. Tinumbu's advice. Even if they don't have what to do, let them go to enjoy constant electricity, which you and your husbands cannot provide for Nigerians. Another said, but these people always count as count us as full. You have your two daughters outside Nigeria living there. You are still discouraging other people from going there. Another said, I tire. Let them come down to Nigeria and feel what we are suffering here. Another said, Madam, you don't know what we are passing through here. I beg, keep your advice. Allow us to survive by any means suitable to us, even if it's working as a caregiver abroad. Another said, since they cannot provide jobs and enabling environment to do their own businesses here, let them go there and do any job. Whatever they do over there is personal. Another said, talking is not the answer. Give them what will not make them to japa. Another said, is your, is your daughter not resident in England? Another said, Madam, let them do any work of their choice, even if it's a cleaner job. Nigeria is terrible for now. Your party have some assaulted our economy. Another said, Abina, imagine comparing Nigerian cleaner where they collect 40k monthly to someone in UK where they collect 2 million to put 2.5 million. Even if such person paid the old bills, he will still have 1 million plus for in savings. Another person said, when you and your so-called husband, Jack Barden, what work were you guys doing there? After making life miserable for poor Nigerians, so you guys expect them to buy in Nigeria while you guys enrich your pockets. Another said, if they have work to do in Nigeria and they are being paid well, I don't think they will want to Jack Barden. And before you advise them not to jack by, remember your husband spent years in America where he was into drug business. Another said, Madam, you don't go to market to buy food stuff. You don't pay house rent. You don't pay electricity bill. You don't buy fuel. All is free. That is why you don't understand the type of hardship we are into. Another said, it is only your husband that can push drugs. Let them go and deal on drugs. Though. It's not only your husband to be money. Another said, Madam First Lady, where are your children? Are they not in abroad? And how can you, who have your children permanently abroad, come and be telling Nigerians that they should not japa? Ah, fear God, though. Another person said, You have a point. People will not japa if they are able to have an enabling environment here and you guys provide the necessary resources. For example, making light constant and security of lives and properties. Do you know how many Nigerians who were capable of taking care of themselves and living well years ago cannot 
or can barely feed themselves and their children. And here you are talking down at Nigerians, especially skilled people, why they have to leave Nigeria to go abroad. Make una fear God. All right, so these are some of the comments that are strilled. What the, gov the, president's of, uh, the president's wife has said, asking that, why? Why are you people jackpying? Why can't you stay in Nigeria to make it better? Why can't you let things work in our own country? Why are you all excited and so focused on traveling abroad? The cleaner job that a lot of Nigerians, according to her, are doing abroad is what they can comfortably do in Nigeria. Hmm. My people, what's your opinion on this? Please drop down for comment section. Bye.